Welcome to the second part of a five-part tutorial from George Mason University Libraries on working with census data and GIS. In part two, we'll open our data set in Excel, isolate the data we want to work with, calculate data values across spreadsheet columns, and perform a basic descriptive analysis using Excel. First, we'll want to retrieve the data that we downloaded in part one. Go to your census project folder, and open the file that ends data1.xls. Here you see our data displayed. Note the first row contains serial codes for each data. We discussed these in part one of the tutorial. Also notice that the second row contains descriptive data labels that allows us to keep our data straight. You may need to adjust the width of this row to allow you to read the entire data label for each column. Now note the left hand side of the screen contains serial codes for each census tract. Excel 2007 makes it easy to freeze these columns in place. Simply click on the top cell beneath geographic summary level, go to view, select freeze panes, and again select freeze panes. And now wherever you go in your spreadsheet, the top two rows and the left two columns will remain in place. Now we'll need to rename the column headings for the data that we need and eliminate the data that we don't need. Note that according to our data labels P087001 contains total population by census tract. The column next to it P087002 contains total population below the poverty level for each census tract. We'll want to keep both of these columns. So select P087001 and rename it something shorter but still descriptive so that you know exactly what data is in that column. Try pop total. And select column P087002 and rename that pov total. Now recall that we're using census data to determine the total population in Fairfax County over the age of 65 that is below the poverty level. So scroll to the right until you find the data that we need. It's contained in columns P087008 and P087009. As the descriptive labels tell us, column P087008 contains data for the population below the poverty level that is aged 65 to 74. The next column contains the same data only for 75 years and over. Now rename both of these columns for P087008 rename it POV 65 to 74 and for the next column rename it POV 75 above. Now that we have renamed the column headings, we can delete row 2, which contains our descriptive data labels. So go ahead and select the entire row, right click, and select delete. We also don't need the data for population below the poverty level below age 65. So go ahead and select these columns and delete them. Right click and hit delete. We can also delete the columns of data to the right of our POV 75 above column. So select all of these, right click and hit delete. We'll want to sort our data by total population below the poverty level per census tract. So scroll back until you've found that column, click on any of the cells in that column. Now there are a few ways to sort data. The easiest is probably to select data, sort, Ensure that the box is checked next to My Data Has Headers. Under Column, select POV Total. Under Order, select Largest to Smallest and click OK. Now the data that we need is currently sorted in two different age groups, age 65 to 74 and age 75 and above. We'll want to add these two columns together. Simply select the top two cells in each column, plus a third cell to the right. Select Home, and find the sum symbol. 
click on this symbol and you see that it gives you the sum of these two cells. Now select the bottom right corner of just this cell and drag it down to the bottom of our data table and Excel has copied our equation all the way down to the bottom of the table and now we have a new column that contains the sum of both of these pre-existing columns. Rename this column POV65 above. The last step is to do some basic statistical analysis using Excel. Some users may have to add the analysis tool pack. If you're using Excel 2007, simply click on the Office button, go down to Excel Options, select Add-ins, next to Manage Excel Add-ins, select Go. You'll see a menu of the possible add-ins displayed. Make sure that the Analysis Tool Pack is checked and click OK. It's already checked in my version of Excel. If it is not checked in yours, check it and click OK, and it will install. Give it a few moments. And if you're using Excel 2003, you can reach the Add-ins box through the Tools drop-down menu. Once it's finished installing, you can click on Data, Data Analysis, and you can see a list of possible analysis tools that you can use and apply to your data. For now, we just want descriptive statistics. So find and click on Descriptive Statistics and click OK. A new window will appear asking for input and output. For input, click the icon and select every cell in our new column. For Output, click Output Range. Again, select the icon. Scroll to the right and select any cell to the right of our POV65 above column. This will be where our data output displays. Click the icon again. Select Summary Statistics and click OK. You may need to adjust your column width to make sure the labels and data appear correctly. Now you'll see your descriptive statistics displayed. Mean, standard error, standard deviation, and so on and so forth. This information helps users with a statistical background to become more familiar with their data. Finally, we'll want to save our revised spreadsheet. So click on the Office button, select Save As, Excel Workbook, Make sure that it's saving in our Census Project folder and call this file Poverty Project. Close Excel and proceed to part three of this tutorial where we'll use our spreadsheet to create a database file using Microsoft Access.